Now to yesterday's major legal win for Donald Trump. A Florida judge abruptly dismissed the federal indictment accusing the former president of mishandling classified documents, saying the special counsel prosecuting the case was improperly appointed. Chief legal analyst Dan Abrams is here. And Dan, this is one of those events that I think falls into the category of shocking but not surprising. Yeah, I mean, look, this is a sweeping decision. It's stunning because she's thrown out the entire case by saying that the special counsel wasn't appointed properly uh, by the attorney general. Um, it is sweeping in the sense that it's going to get cited by others who are going to say that other um, special counsels uh, should uh, be invalidated as well. But as a practical matter, it doesn't really change the timeline, right? Meaning no one was expecting that this case was going to make it to trial before the election. Now it is certain that the trial will not happen before the election. We've had decades of special counsels and decades of courts affirming them. Correct. So this is definitely a repudiation of uh, decades of precedent on this question. Now, she would say that this particular question with this particular set of facts hasn't been addressed before, but even the Supreme Court has addressed the broad question of the authority that an attorney general has in terms of appointing a special counsel. And so that is why I think there's a pretty good chance that she will get reversed on appeal. Well, that's what I was going to ask you next. You think so? Yeah. I mean, look, they've made it clear that they've gotten the authorization to appeal to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, which, by the way, is a conservative court, which has also overturned Aileen Cannon on two previous occasions. So I would not be surprised to see them overturn her in this regard. Remember, typically, in, in a case, prosecutors can't appeal. Like, if there's a jury verdict that prosecutors don't like, they can't appeal and say, well, we want a new jury trial. When there's a legal ruling made by a judge before a trial in a case like this, prosecutors can appeal, and it seems that they will. But if this is affirmed by the courts, then the January 6th prosecution goes away as well? Not necessarily. This is not binding on that district. The 11th Circuit doesn't oversee what's happening in the District of Columbia. Separate jurisdiction. It, does lead, it would lead to the question of whether the Supreme Court would ultimately have to weigh in on the broader issue, and Clarence Thomas has made it clear that he wants to. Okay, Dan Abrams, thanks very much.